short. So I believe the company made our job real hard. And is there any was it for this, you know? What is, is there a pre? Let's go. We play time. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Gabby. We were wondering if you're 
you're going to show up. Hi, Yuli. I'll be up in my room. <laughs> you oh, over the weekend? How would you know? I called. We were in with the Amit tribe, but can't help with the mute. Warner Corbin with the hair lip trying to strike limo. We all ended up in a Winnebago. Nobody had to worry getting through a limo for making out. I don't think you should have left Yuli alone. Sounds like we deserted her. She likes to be left alone. We check in. I think she's taking the mute. She says Peter and Jessica are in her room. Wish you stopped with mom and dad as Peter and Jessica. Yeah, it takes. Cindy, are those fishing sinkers? Yeah. Wearing fishing sinkers. Yeah. They make me way more. Olivia Schechter, the nurse. He's trying to keep oh, getting he's trying to throw up in the bathroom. Oh, 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 oh. with my finger in the lunchroom last month. <gasps> Wendy, if you want. She says Wendy's bulimic anorexia. She weighs me whenever she weighs me in a mall. She says that if Wendy loses any more weight, then she's going to have to the Department of Health, Eric. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? One more. Wendy. We're worried about you. That's all they ever said. They can't even stand. Where from? Some trotting race show. Park. They said it's beautiful. No race before. They said place and then every 19 minutes the place goes crazy. But then they hit a track in Virginia where the races are run every 17 minutes. So like 17 minutes is crazy. Yep. And they heard that out in California double track. Double tables, yeah. double wagering, double starting gate. So every the crowd goes crazy. Wait until that place opens. Last week they were at Trotters and No, that was last week they were in St. Louis. They said when we're not, they're at a native casino. They try to go to the new ones where the blackjack don't quite know what they're doing. They're winning enough so they don't have to work anymore. You know I've been saying Ben? No. He's nice, a little weird in that you like his hair. <laughs> He's the son of a late marriage. It's old people gave birth to him. Are you in love with him? Or Peter. Now you've got her doing What's it. What's she going to do? On a scale of one ten, I love him a three. You can't because I run away from home. They're never coming back. They're just going to, to go from one chicken Native American to the next forever and ever. And they never want to see us again. They said that. Read my lips. Never in back. At least they faxed this list time. <coughs> it puts me in change at the bottom. It's disgusting. I know. <coughs> I got that I was emotionally vulnerable. Gabby, you know you do. She asked if she could set out the food platter. I started with an overeaters and on a meal. Pasta, salad, sliced beef, and a slice of whole wheat bread. Like, really in control. She started to graze. I mixed with the normal kids and ate egg rolls, baby CD, designer pizza, baby quiches, sea plate fish, pairing is Dip. It was a great dip with the jalapenos. I don't know everything you ate. But then, I felt mentally strange. Mentally strange? I mean by our damage. She disappeared. I couldn't find her. I started big baguettes, three curried buffalo wings, moose crab cake, deviled eggs, linguine, caviar, and jalapeno. The start. I was shoving the mouth hiding behind hand. You're a drummer. You were such a pig. Don't call your- Don't tell me what I can't say. I waited until the games and free pulled in the one spring <laughs> Gotta get the drinks and ice into the fridge. Oh. 
Blow up those balloons. Hey, sister, don't tear those threads. Give me our back. Yeah. They're making mom's clothes. What do they say about me? Hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. What's going on, Danny? What's with the speakers? Hey, if you girls are going to rumble, we should, uh, blood buy some charge for those, too. <laughs> We're starting parties. Uh, I thought Olivia's bat mitzvah. I thought you said you had. And a party. This will be the day. Your parents really are coming. Hey, Wendy. I just got the role of Drax on High School Musical. Mr. Schaefer really liked the way my eyes went like this. How about our principal? Hey, I wish my parents would disappear for good. I heard Vinny borrowed you a rental car last week and you left it on the sidewalk. You kidding? What's this meeting about? Let's have it now. Dave's coming down. We have to wait for him. No, we don't. We don't have to wait for anyone. <coughs> They let you come down from scout camp? There are ones. I quit. Peg Yorganziano's brother said you were in charge of the waterfront activity. Yeah, it was great. You should have seen him fish for sunnies. Yeah, he used fruit pebbles to bait and just threw it out on the water. Yeah, and when the sunnies would come to the top, he'd suck them in the hammer. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's not true. Very much is true. I've got a class of charities for a while. Too bad. I was hoping you'd handle the ticket. What ticket? What's going on? Gotta get something going. Yeah, we should uh, throw up one of those bagel places like Max Friedman did last year. Yeah, it makes a couple hundred thousand a year just from bagels and coffee. I didn't even bother going to college. Mm, I like the blueberry ones with the low fat cream. Like, invented the new bagel. Kids got nowhere to go. <laughs> That's where we come in. Yeah, I know this kid in Tenafly who runs a party house. His parents took off just like yours. You don't talk about our parents. Well, he charges like ten, twenty dollars a night for and a couple of drinks. Yeah, charges a sliding fee, sends out announcements. It's everyone in the yearbook. Especially the losers. The kids who, like, never made it socially. Yeah. They'd get an invitation. Yeah, you make it look and sound like they're important and good enough to get invited to a party and they're gonna make lots of friends. I was I was thinking we could call the place the cheat. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, jungle is good. And uh <laughs> let's just stick around and dance with losers. Help make them have a good time. I wanna dance too. Let's check the box in my bedroom. I want that silver sparkly thing she has. Oh, I get some of the decan wine. I wonder if she still has a sweatshirt, the Benetton with Einstein on yeah. it. You keep out of their room! You keep out! Are you not? Get out of our way! Dan, I caught Skippy and JP sucking up the class to get pin numbers! Leave her alone! Hey, you leave it. How are you doing? Get out of my way. Get away! You told him to slip up everything and head for the bed! Will you get rid of her? I want that dress. Hands off it! Dan, call up the creep! Oh, if no one wants that sweater, kid. Get away, you blind sucker! <laughs> Come on, you leave. Get those dummies out of Grandma's wheelchair. Yeah, you're ripping me out. They're coming back! She's right. Oh. Hi, Dave. Yeah, hello. What do you mean she's right? Pete and Jessica are coming back. <coughs> I saw them. Told you, Freakalino. You saw them? How could you see <laughs> like George? I took a bus to Northville Park. You found them in the mob at the trotter? Mom always stands at the finish line. Are you having a party, Dan? Told you, Mega Freakalino. <laughs> <laughs> they said that? They said they're coming back. They were thinking about it. They sent a fax. Hey, I talked to him, Dad. When they coming? They said they needed a day to think about it. When are they coming, Dave? They said they, they said they'd call us tonight. They're not gonna call. They fact. They're going to fact. Hey, guys, I talked to him. They said they're probably coming back. They told you that to get rid of you. They probably dropped their bricks when they saw you. I need to talk to Dan. Hey, what about party? There's not gonna be a party. Hey, Dan, is this a big wank or what? Go blow up the balloons. Get the refreshments ready in the kitchen. Right. I've gotta collect for a while, Dave, okay? Yeah, take Yuli with you. No way, they'll blow up. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm staying. They'll rip off mom's clothes. We weren't ripping off anything. She's not coming back. I'm going, Yuli. Be careful. We're just going to check the clothes in their room. We'll divvy them up, the clothes, like, in case. Yeah, like, in case. <laughs> <laughs> my father reading a law book, giggling during the chapter on child abandonment. I started reading several books on Greek and Roman mythology. I should have known for certain he was going to clear out. I highlighted all the parts of the fates and the civil, how children who were dangerous would be left in the hills. Oedipus, Romulus, and Remus, Moses, children whose heels were cut so that wild beasts could better stalk them. The only thing I know that's different about my mother was the way she would sit around the house crying a lot. I suppose it's unusual for a psychotherapist. She seemed obsessed with the case history of this one pilot case she had. She 
I kept printing up copies of it and leaving it around the neighborhood asking for people markets and other breakfast tables. It was something horrible that it's in this ten-year-old boy on Christmas. His parents were loaded, filthy rich. The father was a Hollywood producer, and his mother used to fund the family. And they wanted to surprise their son with the Christmas ever, so they bought him wonderful things. A ten speed, rollerblades, a vinyl electric train, skis, a sled, a, a tennis, a dog, candy, a BB pistol, a Swiss Army knife. The Christmas tree flooded gift wrap boxes and bows and tinsel everywhere. A, a living room crammed with presents and candy canes. They had created this dream for their son. And on Christmas morning, when their son came down the stairs into the living room, boy saw this fantasy that they had bought him, and he burst into tears. <coughs> What's the matter? The father cried out, pushing to him, crying out, holding him, hugging him. Is there something that you had your heart on that you don't see here? Is there something that we forgot? And the boy, wailing through his tears, said, I don't know, but there could be. There could be. When the father took back his hand and slapped the boy across the face with all his might. He slapped him, and slapped him, and slapped him. Glamour! Beauty! A life of a fabulous king! Billabong! Revlon! American Apparel! Bon Jovi! Abercrombie! Black Eyed Peas! Make great things happen with CoverGirl! You did that on purpose! Go to your room! Eat your bro sprouts! Dip your lips! You think you're different than anyone else around here? You don't realize that when Paris Hilton gets a new dress for a big bash, I thought every other one in the store, so no other star can show up with the same thing. I'll treat you like an adult when you start acting like one. If a girl tells me I look familiar, I know she just wants to meet me. Which is why, for the close-up, I need a butt kick little gym. I want to look fresh now the guy virgins are in. And I want to be cutting edge of all the sweat fest hunks who push their limits in hang gliding, windsurfing, and jet skiing. Which is hard to do on the allowance you get. We're, We're not making money, you know! I only asked why we couldn't have a little Perrier around the house. Jennifer Aniston spends $3,000 a month on her designer water, so I don't think a little Perrier is asking too much. Well, as long as you live in my house, you're going to behave like a decent human being. I think it's my duty to be a mega babe. To her way, hot, tiny teas, shape up the super water summers, participate in the string bikini fashion bonanza, wear the new moisture with lipstick for Maybelline. I want to get towed on a sailboat. I need a weekend in Aspen. How, How can, can you stand, stand to live like this? this? Johnny Depp has his walls covered with clowns and trash his hotel room. You're going to sit on that potty until I get some results. Drew Barrymore's very next tattoo is going to be a daisy. She says she dreams of having a field of daisies. She can take off all of her clothing and go running through them. Justin Bieber has this recurring dream where he's going to die on his 36th birthday in a green Corvette. We'll show TV for a week and see if that brings you your senses. When Ashton Kutcher wants a snack, he grabs a pillowcase and stick shifts it to a seven. Those are with Slurpees, Abba Zabba's, Ding Dongs, and Hot Tamales. You know, they had a live roast during the filming of Punk. It's your turn to wash the dishes. Madonna has a fleet of 24-hour limos, a private jet, and eight toy toys. Well, most stars make sure their cars are stocked with TVs, 4,000 watt systems, and mega bass flashers. Brad Pitt never hits the road without a roll of toilet paper. I don't personally see anything wrong with being a hedonist. Decent food, shelter, warm pleasure. I just want to do something to feel good. Play with someone wearing the same uniform. Basically, I want to have a good time. And I think that if it feels good, I'm just going to do it. And just where do you think you're going, young man? You look like a mess! I'm just having a bad hair day. I'm gonna need money for a perm, strip layers, or a bob that's kept just below the ears. Whatever I take, it's gotta be hot and in vogue. Urgent! Important! Attention! New! Special! Just for you! Glamour! Beauty! A lifetime of fabulous skin! Jessica aren't coming back. Yes, we are. They're gonna call in like 20, 30 minutes. We're back before the Daily Double. Hey, we said we're gonna call. We're gonna call. Cut it out, Huey. Party's still on. Put it off, Dan. Yeah, Danny, Sunny Boy. <coughs> I heard you're making 40 to 50 bucks a night at the Happy Scott. Yeah. Hey, Dave, you made it count. Hey, Phoebe. Phoebe? Uh, what's with the dummy? 
Come on, dummy. What, you got them dressed like mom and dad? No, they're Lindy Lohan and the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Let's find out. They have 63 cars. Not the Guinness Book of Records, but close. I got a lot of mortgage papers, stock certificates, a lot of legal stuff. Bottom line is for a boy. I was at the ATM at B-Town for three hours. Most of the cars were passed out. Yeah, most of the cards were in Dad's name. We found a second for Mom. Uh, it's most of the pin numbers for our birthdays. We were sentimental double, weren't we? What cash can we get? Uh, nothing to see two of them, but there was an old pair of state card they must have forgotten. Yeah, it's it's got 5,000 on it. It was down behind the bed. Ah, uh, the cash is in. We took out 1,000 for today, the map. And tomorrow, we can take out another 1,000. Hey, it's not our money. Yeah, I'm telling Maureen on you, crook. Then I'm gonna squeal on her to the pulp. Hey, Yuli, it's getting dark. What about stocks and bonds? Uh, Zip, they bought 50 shares of Hardman and Axel the day the president of the company died. We got a second mortgage from a retarded bank in Louisiana and a third from the money store. Yeah, uh, the good news is I called the mess the 800 number and the credit card company said they'd give us higher lines of credit if we just pay last month's drink. Dad had a good job. <coughs> You've been in the boondocks for too long, Dave. They cut him to 20 hours a week, made a part-time status. No health plan, no pension. They paid the local gun to close its doors like GM or some company did in Wallkill. The gun shop got 3000 a day to stay closed while uh, demotion and fire notices were handed out. To keep down the employee-related murdering. Mom was working. She went back to school. She wasn't making any money. She got a degree in social work. Yeah, 43 billion housewives get their degree in social work every year. She was a therapist. She had her shingle out. <laughs> you don't blame her. Mom's only mistake was that when it came to treating her patients, she was honest. Yeah. There's so many lunatics coming over here all the time. She'd have them for like one or two sessions for 50 bucks. Then she'd realize she was nuttier than they were, send them to a psychopharmacologist who put them on Prozac. They'd get in such a buzz, she'd never see them again. <laughs> hey, Stevie, JP, why don't you go help the guys in the kitchen? Just talk to them, Dad. Talk to them when they call. Don't be too gossip. Just talk to them. They gave up. We can't blame them. They've got to come back. Why? For you? It's <coughs> late now. We won't have a place. You're making an offer an apartment. Yeah, I'm renting a room. We all can. I'll take care of you. No, you don't understand. What? This house where I'm staying? What about it? It's this woman's. So what? This family's, man. Are there any babes? One. She's got a boyfriend. We got a dog, too, a Springer Spaniel. BYOB for the first two parties, then we can move on to cake. Kabuchi, that's the family's name. Even with Coke, two bucks a can, we'll make money. They include me in on things. We all eat breakfast together, and then someone says, hey, let's go out on a picnic, and everyone goes out to the park, and they pull up blankets, they play ball, they read books, dance. Yeah, it is a lot of it. They're vegetarians. Kabuchi makes cheese, cauliflower pie, and this thing called cheese slop. Cheese slop suck. I like it. <laughs> They're liberals, too, the parents. You know they work two jobs just to put the kids through college? They put the kids first, Dan. The dad even pays for the son's car insurance. Some crappy old VW bug or something that goes vroom, vroom. I hate VW. Yeah. <coughs> At dinner, they do this lame thing where they all sit around the table and they say one good thing and one rotten thing that happened to the day. And when someone says that bad thing, another person says, hey, how could I help fix that? I like hanging out there. It's 60 bucks a week. The room sucks. They got photos all over the place. If one person writes a poem, bam, it gets glued up. I'm sitting on the fireplace mantel, Miss Kabuchi has this really freaky foot tall carved nun with this real inch sized Bible. I mean, they're not religious or anything, but they do celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah. They're like crazy liberals. They got stupid mementos all over the place. <coughs> I mean, they even have a, a model Ford sculpture that's mounted on top of a teaspoon. Really odd things like that. A Mexican painting, a candle snuffer. Things that we never even thought of. And sometimes they go out, and I go upstairs. I follow that white rug all the way upstairs. I see worn Indian rugs, books, writing desks, books. I get dizzy. Sometimes I have to hold onto the railing because I feel like the whole house is flying through space. Like it's a part of this huge time capsule and the whole house is hurtling through the universe. And I feel like I want to go with it.
trying to get into Cornell Veterinary School to be a pet therapist? Oh, yeah. I figure, gotta have a dream, right? Gotta have a dream. 
So Betsy, are you still seeing that psychiatrist? Yes. Is it because of your grandfather? He was such a nice old man. Must have been a terrible shock. I mean, he's ill. When you found out he wanted to be buried in a pink party dress. <laughs> it did sort of precipitate a change of events in my family. I don't think my father would have had a sex change operation under ordinary circumstances. I've been trying to work it out with the shrink, you know, about my parents. How sweet and simple they were, running their mom and pop candy store. And then one day I came home and found out it was a mom and mom shop. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should bring any to the house. Oh, I handled that pretty well. What really made me need psychiatric treatment was when my mom joined this softball team of women who used to be men. And they were playing against this team of men who used to be women. And I was sitting there in the stands watching these big women play against these itsy bitsy little men. And I felt like I was on Mars. Like I didn't know who I was anymore. <laughs>
party will be packed. It takes time, you know? It's time for them to be calling. Were you getting a lot of calls? Were a lot of kids calling? They were probably busy in between races. By the time they post the wins, you know how much time they have to figure out what they're going to bet next. Okay, so the course is over. Hey, they said they were going to call. They had that look in their eyes like they were really going to. They're eating hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did Vinny call while we were gone? If he comes by, I don't want any cracks, okay? He picks out on me, you know? Nobody called. Can't someone send out for some food? One lousy pizza, anything? Chinese? Uh, I'll go to White Castle. You want to go to White Castle? I am not doing Burger King or KFC. No composite chicken. <laughs> hey, get some more music on the English ones, the guys imitating Germany. Can't you play something slow? Where are all the coats? Someone drinks the cooking sherry, you know? Oh. <laughs> There's seven up, you want to seven up? And the ice is out. Whoever's eating the ice, cut it out. No ice eating. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to dance? I see you rollerblading sometimes. I saw you fall. It sounded like you cracked your knee. Dance okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, sorry, I think I'm coming down with a blood clot. Um, maybe I'll dance later. I never know what I'm going to do. <coughs> hey, Dave, I don't understand. Your parents are on some kind of trotting vacation? If they go away and you're going to have parties every week? Hey, don't worry about it. They're off. They won something. Filled out a form at Barnes & Noble. Won a contest thing. Everything's cool. It's not going to be called. They've been gone for two months. If my mom's went to Puerto Rico on a junket, sent me a card to Laura Castle. My mom connected the video fucker. She gets her paycheck and she's out of town. She's like a lotto fever. It used to be a lot of Kino. The cover page. I'll teach you how to salsa. Vinny loves the salsa. Hey, so what to say? What's it gonna be, like a whole thing? Yeah, what was I start? <laughs> Not much. I mean, these things cost, they can't send a book, you know? Dear kids, I'm sorry we have to send you. It's not gonna be bad. Did mommy write it? Who wrote it? They could've called. They could've called before. So, why would they go to Ohio? Why wouldn't they just go to the Meadowlands? We're having a good time. It's cool. We're not coming back. We're sorry Dave came after us. Please don't come looking for us anymore. We can read this later. It's just our thing. Hey, get some more music on, okay? Hey, you. We're sorry we ever had children. Don't read it in front of everyone. I mean, you don't have to wave our laundry, you know? Who cares? Half their parents are psychos, too. I mean, this isn't a nice message, you know? I mean, it sucks. Everybody does that. Save up, get a wad, go to a casino and blow it. Everybody does that every once in a while. We thought there was some meaning. We thought we'd all like each other and need each other. That there was some point to it all. Who wants a drink? Jimmy, go out and get some chips and dip, okay? They're putting us on. It's a joke. Y your mother and I don't like each other anymore, either. It's all fake. Everything is fake. At least here, we see the horses and get excited. They probably just had a few beers too many. <coughs> Remember how he used to say God was on vacation? <coughs> Remember that? God's in Martinique. <laughs> Remember his little joke? Yuli was okay, but we know she'll soon turn into what the rest of you are. Your users, your losers, gimme gimme. Please don't come looking for us. We're changing our name. Like we said, don't look for us. Come on, come on, you guys, let's dance. The only problem we have is to get this party going again. And maybe you want to sing. What's that thing you used to do? That that thing to Gershwin. I've got to be going. <laughs> Me too. It's early. Betsy, let's dance. I've got a lot of homework to do. Come on, somebody dance. They're coming back, Pete and Jessica. It's it's just a thing. It's all gonna be okay. They're good guys. Hey, look, Mom, I'm dancing. Come on, you guys, let's get this party going. Let's get it cooking. Come on, you guys. They're just fooling around. Gabby, 
Here, Gabby, grab a dummy and dance. Come on, come on, yeah.
other than that, the talent show will continue on tomorrow night. It is about 10, 15, probably right now. And we're all gonna be going straight to our cabins uh, for cabin time and then lights out, right? And uh, other than that, uh, have a nice night. Thank you for coming for talent show. <laughs> Jeff, your iPhone. iPhone. Take it from here directly down to the basketball court. Lights it. Come on, go! Oh, yeah. 